everyone and welcome back to God's Little Gifts. Today we are going to show you how to pot zenobias. These are epiphytes or grown out and grown outdoors or in a greenhouse. They are generally grown in a basket or mounted on bark and they are generally grown in a basket because their flowers grow from under the basket and that's why they are called upside down plants. They have an exclusive type of bee as a pollinator. That bee hasn't visited and hasn't visited our orchids yet. Now I'll show you how to pot repot snowpias. This is the orchid that has outgrown its space, and we are going to get it out of the basket, clean up the potting mix, and split it. This one is not work. It tries to survive. See, new pro. One, two. Not bad. We'll have the orchid guide us where to split. Split. After splitting, we clean the roots. Typically, a set of two to three bulbs can be potted in a single basket. This is one division. This is one of the division. This one you can grow them in pots. Yeah, it's a pot. Yeah. Okay, we okay. put them all back in the same and basket this one again. Grow. So, cut all the bud leaves first. Make it look better. Okay. And this is the back bulb, like like the stenhopia. We will remove it. We remove them. Mm -hmm. All in rocks. Somebody Cover the roots with moss and moss to the basket and firmly tuck the wrapped yeah. orchid in, into the basket. He's holding a, a Stenhopia oculata and it has it has high new growth. This is the back bulb that I split it um, about a month ago. You know, and each bulb is like, I, I break down, but I leave it in the pot, in the same pot, and each of them have a new growth. You know, fine new growth in here. So, Zenhopia oculata, that's how you do it. Now there is a set of bulbs that won't fit in a basket and will do better when mounted on bars. I hope this will grow um, on mounting. Antelique already had bark that was ready to be mounted. We first make sure there is enough moss tied to the bark, similar to how you would have it in a pot. We tie the moss to make sure it stays in place. And similar to how we put the orchid in the basket, we cover the roots with moss and firmly place it on the moss filled bark. The fishing light better because they don't show much of the color. And we we add some more we add some more moss around the root so we they can have moisture to leave on you know and so that we don't have to water a lot see this part is very nice you know um you know start from yeah tie it up the first part and then tie it yeah tie it one tie first so before we go down Every time we tie it one time. Yeah, that's good. And now you have to tie it again to ensure it's fixed in place. Be careful where you tie, no touching the sensitive parts where it might break. Ta-da! We replicated wild at home. We are so happy to be learning about these God's little gifts that play such a significant role in our ecosystem. We hope to add more learning to conserving the God's little gifts and enabling a sustainable environment. This is the good part of today. Mounting orchids. Welcome to Orchid Design Mounting Orchids. Thank you everyone. It's a nice artwork. Wonderful. Thank you for watching and Thank if you, you like watching. and if you like this video, please like, subscribe and give us your comments. Bye!